talking about the inheritance of environmentally acquired traits, and I'm going to be talking about two very different mechanisms that lead to that. Proteins have to fold. So this is a protein, and you see it's a long, long chain of amino acids that has to fold a very, very precise shape on the fact that protein homeostasis, the ability of proteins to fold and find their correct folds, is a very, very difficult thing inside a living cell. Um, and the problem is compounded by the fact that not only is it really crowded in there, but there's tremendous amount of kinetic energy. So it was fantastic, and he will tell you why. <laughs> well, it was fantastic because I learned a lot. <laughs> I always thought that Lamarck, you know, was out of date, but uh, he's back, and it's nice. <laughs> For me, the, the principal goal of this talk is the relation between the a new function of the heat shell proteins related to the pathogenesis, for, uh, for example. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. And uh, specifically the idea that there can be a lot of variation that's in, the, in any kind of genome that can be revealed at times of stress. Um, has anyone ever analyzed whether uh, chakron content and uh, also uh, chakron regulation changes within You know, it's a, it's a very interesting question. The, the organisms that live under extremes, these, uh, the, the thermophiles, mm -hmm. uh, from what I understand about 50% of total yeah. protein is chef yeah, how, is how do they cope with that? Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, that's yeah, the, yeah. yeah. And just maybe it's worth mentioning, if anybody wants to talk about it, uh, we, we do do a lot of work on other aspects. For example, <laughs> we're getting more and more interested in medicine, and we're working on um, uh, the role of heat shock proteins and protein folding in cancer and in neurodegeneration. And I talked a little bit about the um, evolution of drug resistance, but infectious diseases now. So. Um, it's protein folding is just involved in virtually every aspect of a cell's biology that you can imagine, and so probably half of all human diseases are due to problems in protein folding. Mm -hmm.